people of the end. Blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am showing you something super exciting. It's been a while since I've bought art supplies and stationery, and so today I'm doing a stationery art supply haul, and I'm super excited because I bought so many cute things. So, without further ado, let's get into the haul. And my dog is crying. Makita! So, before we were rudely interrupted by my weeping dog, I was saying that I'm super excited because I bought so many cute stuff and so many nice art supplies, and I'm gonna show you them right now i have bought these things over the last like three months so it's like more like a collective haul because budget but without further ado let's get into the haul so i'm gonna start with the more stationary themed products which i'm super excited about they are super cute and i was in need of cute stationery like a lot so yeah i'm gonna show you what i got so the first thing I got um, in the stationery department are these like super nice rose gold paper clips. Yeah. I bought these in the supermarket, believe it or not. Supermarkets here have this thing that they have this section on the supermarket where they sell super nice things like stationery, um, like cute uh, teacups and plates and things for the house and yes so yeah I bought this yesterday when I went to the supermarket to do the food shopping for the weekend yeah I saw them and I said to myself Natalia you need this in your life following the rose gold theme I bought these push pins they are gold and rose gold um, I have been using these super ugly black like the the long ones you know these like the long ones with like uh, I'm gonna show you yeah I have been using these super like <laughs> ugly push pins for the longest time to pin things to my board and I just hate them they are not really nice so I thought I would get some nicer push pins again I got these at my supermarket they had these um stationery collection which is really cute so I got this as well very nice and again another rose gold item you can tell we have a theme going on here I like rose gold but these are some clips I bought them to take pictures of my bullet journal with open pages so they don't like flip over and stuff and just to clip things and because they're cute and because they're rose gold Yay! Four super cute pins. And I also got some other pins, but these are like with some super nice drawings. Like, I love the flamingo one. Like, what is this? This is so cute. Cacti, some leaves, a pineapple, and more pineapples. These are super cute as well, and they're gonna look super nice in my Instagram. I basically buy things to photograph them for my Instagram. Hashtag no shame. Hashtag food for the crown. Why is it that every time I film a video they are doing construction work? Every time. Every time. And another thing I got, but this time, this I got it during Christmas when I traveled to the US. We stopped at a huge Target. I love Target. Please, Target, come to Peru because we love Target. I love Target. So, we stopped in Target. I wanted to buy literally everything, but I contained myself because I had only one suitcase to carry home and it was already full with clothes and I could not buy anything else. So yeah, what I got in Target is this washi tape set by Scotch. I never had bought washi tape before. This was the first time ever I bought washi tape. And also this pack, which is really nice, with a um, gold um, navy and red theme, which I really like. Um, I love the, the patterns and the variety, and I have 
been using them quite a lot in my bullet journal and so far they are working out great so yeah this scotch washi tape set super nice in love with washi tape and now moving on to the more art supply um, products of the haul, you would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, moving on. I bought some new Tombow dual brush pens for my collection. I got two pink, pink, uh, one pink, a purplish, and these lime green, which I saw in Amanda Reich Lee's bullet journal. March bullet journal setup video. Well, that was a handful. So yeah, I saw this one being used by Amanda and I really liked the hue of it. Thank you, Amanda. So yeah, I bought this one. I have yet to try it out because this one I bought a couple hours ago and these ones I bought like three weeks ago maybe in a store called La Clave, which is um, around um, well, in Lima and this one I bought in the store next to my um, house like a couple of hours ago so yeah super excited I always love to buy tombos uh, they are super great and yeah more to my collection I have the feeling that every time I show you a product I say super happy super nice I need to stop I'm sorry I'm sorry I also got a new Micron Pigma Micron um, fine liner in the O1 size. Um, yeah, I love Micron's. They are super, super, super great to work with. They don't smudge. Um, they take um, like alcohol-based based ink super well. And yeah, I really love them. I, my other one, my other Micron was really really busted and I needed desperately a new one because I was um, using my Muji fine liners but they smudge a lot and they don't really work when you put another ink over it so I really needed another one just so you to show you how busted my other microns are I'm gonna show you the state of them these are my other microns I have an 05 and an 09 Oh one, another oh one. Sorry, but as you can see, <laughs> the tip, uh, the number of the on the tip is completely erased. They are also starting to get erased on the sides, and like the tip is completely destroyed. Comparing it to the new one, you can see. I don't know if you can see, but you see the difference between. I'm sorry, you see the difference between. I have probably had this one for um, the old one for over a year, I think, and it has served me, and it has served me well. So definitely really like the crumbs. Huge fan, huge fan. I also got a new brush pen. I wanted to try another brand of. Um, brush pens I hadn't tried before. I have tried Tombow, Sakura Koi, um, and a couple more. And I got the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in black. This is the tip. I have used it a lot since I bought it. I really, really like it. Super great quality ink, doesn't smudge at all. The tip is super great, very durable so far. And I have really been enjoying this. I bought this one like a month ago and I have been using it nearly every single day. I love it. It's great. Super, super pigmented. I find it a lot more pigmented than, than the Tombow dual brush and the Tombow Kudinoske pen. So definitely a good one, a good find. And it was not very expensive at all. And Fabric Castell is a pretty mainstream brand and you can find it nearly everywhere and here there are not that many brand options you can buy at the art stores so definitely very good that Faber Castell has this kind of pen I can go and repurchase every time I want so 
super happy with this. Also today uh, I went to the art store and apart from my Tombow dual brush I got two Tombow Funoske um, brush pens. Um, I got the hard tip one because I needed to replace mine uh, because it's nearly like it has not really that, mu that much ink left. It's started to be very unpigmented and so I wanted to replace it because I really like this um, Tombow pen and I got this other Tombow pen. Let me show you. This is the packet. I haven't opened it yet so you can see I've just bought it. So this is the packet and yeah. I really needed this. And the other brush pen I got is this Tombow um, that I believe is also a dual brush with a brush uh, a brush pen and a fine liner pen side I think I think I saw Amanda use this for also her March bullet journal setup that thing and I couldn't really find out find out what kind of pen was it and today I was looking for the replacement replacement for my Tombow Funoske and I saw this and I think that this was what she was using I'm gonna test it out, I have never used it but I re I'm really excited to test it out so we'll see and finally the whole reason why I went to the store today and I ended up buying three more things but everything else but today I went to the art store because I needed a white uh, watercolor um, um, pen 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 yeah a white watercolor square I think how do you say this in English we say pastilla in Spanish but I don't know the name for the English but I needed a white watercolor because my um, white Winter and Newton watercolor was dead. So I needed a replacement. This is not Winter and Newton. I couldn't find anywhere a, like separate Winter and Newton Winter and Newton watercolors. They all come in sets, and I don't need it to set. I just needed a white one. So got this. I don't know um, anything about his, this brand. Um, Schmicke? Schmicke. Schmicke. I feel like a beauty guru, but instead of eyeshadows, I'm showing watercolors. Yeah, um, I need a white one, so that's why I went to the art store. <laughs> and I ended up buying like a lot of stuff. I wanted to buy more, but I found this. Um, a watercolor uh, bronze and golden gold pots they were amazing but I had no money to buy them so for the next time I'm gonna get them for sure for sure for sure so yeah that's the end of the haul basically um, I'm super excited for the new things I got um, I want to test them out and yeah I hope you like them uh, you don't really have to have a lot of money to buy art stuff. I usually go to the art store once a month or once every two months so I can purchase some new things or repurchase some empties and I purchase like I don't spend that much money on the art store every time I go because I try to buy little but like fr more frequently so I don't have to spend that money on one go although if I had the money I probably would spend a lot of money in one go but you know <laughs> I just like so I hope you like the video I um so yeah that's uh so that's it for the tag haul for the tag haul oh god so that's it for the stationary art supply haul I hope you really liked it I uh sure I'm enjoying my purchases a lot 
and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you have some comments put them down below it would be so great to get to know you and chat with you and yeah basically that's it i hope you have a great weekend or a great day or a great whatever be happy and uh, yeah i'll see you on the next one bye